God, I look crazy. Seems really silly to update YouTube, but we're gonna go see if I'm in labor. I've been having my contractions about a minute long, five minutes apart. Actually, like less. And they're hurting pretty bad, but like I told Jeremy, I'm gonna feel so embarrassed if I'm hurting this bad and I'm not even like like a centimeter dilated because just Friday when I went, I wasn't, and it's only Sunday. That's his heart rate right there. They checked me, I'm a centimeter dilated, which is so stupid because it hurts, which means it's just gonna hurt so much more. But they're talking to the provider. I might get sent home, might not, I don't know. The stuff was on the screen, but the screen went away. So we're getting sent home. I didn't dilate anymore in like the, I don't know if we were there for an hour, Two. So I'm gonna eat and nap and maybe take another shower. They recommended a bath. I really hate baths, but I might put the heating pad on me. Okay. It is 6.02, which means I can have another Tylenol. I'm walking around right now. So how long have I been home? What time did I get sent home from the hospital? I wanna say it's been like six hours though. It might've been like seven hours actually. Uh, yeah. So probably about seven hours. I ate and I'm snacking right now. I took two naps, but now I'm walking around. Also, I keep bleeding. Well, actually, no, I won't want to even say keep bleeding. I bled at the hospital when she, or after she checked my cervix. I bled again here during one of my naps. It is 7.17. I basically have gone, it was about like 7 this morning when I woke up, so I've been like having contractions for 12 hours. But we're heading back to the hospital now. As of right now, like in between contractions, I feel okay, I feel fine. Them contractions, it feels a lot better when I'm standing and swaying when I'm having a contraction. But like I know I'm about to have one in the car and it's gonna hurt really bad. Like sitting down, I'm gonna have to ask them when we get back in here if I can walk around after they check me or something. Yes, I am. We came back. They were monitoring my belly, and um, they couldn't tell if Jackson was like like practicing breathing or something. I don't know. So I had an ultrasound, but it went well. Now we're done with the belly straps and I'm ready to go back home. I just got out of warm bath and I wanna run another one, but I had to eat cause I was starving. It's 8 a.m. We didn't get home from the hospital last night till like 4 a.m. 1.5. I'm so irritated. I did get offered morphine and Benadryl. But then just saying morphine scared me and I was like, mm -mm. Although now I'm kind of wishing I would have taken it. So I slept as long as I could, but I got woken up probably every 10 minutes. I don't know. However far apart the contractions were. Jeremy's in there snoring and I'm so jealous. I never pictured it taking this long. I just want to be done. And I haven't even really begun. It's so frustrating. So we walked all day today around the hospital, which I think my mom has some videos of that. So, and then I went to get checked again and they were like, fuck it. So now I'm getting induced. I'm not getting induced. He's not getting induced. <laughs> and I'm very scared, but I already have Pitocin and some other antibiotic and my little water. Whatever it is. And I'm hungry, but I have chicken broth. And I'm scared. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and ask for the epidural. Okay, I 
have the epidural. Uh, it's in that thing over there. And then I have... I feel like she put another water bag there. I feel like she said she was going to give me more of the water one because she said my blood pressure could drop with the epidural. I don't know. Well, whatever. So, I got that. Um, I got my pee tube. Mm -hmm. Which... You can feel it going in, but it didn't hurt that bad. Well, it didn't hurt really at all, but you can feel it going in. The epidural, they give you like the numbing medicine and it feels like a bee sting. That's what she said. And it exactly does feel like a bee sting. And then, or like a hornet sting. I was fine with that. As soon as she said bee sting, I was like, okay, I can do that. They tell me that well, and, I, and they said, oh, that's the worst part. That part didn't bother me. Like I felt it and like, yeah, it hurt, but like, not like an a yeah hurt just like oh that hurts and then the part she said oh pressure i hate when they say that word so there's just some pressure that part i yelped at and i actually jumped a little bit and then i kept asking her is it okay that i jumped because <laughs> i was so scared and now when i have my contractions i don't even have to breathe through them or anything right now i just feel it in my leg because i've got the peanut ball i don't know how to show y'all this y'all can't tell anyways because well, you can sort of see it. it. Looks like mm, looks like a peanut ball under a blanket. Mm, I forgot what I was saying. What did I just say to them? Just showing them the peanut ball. Oh, I feel it on my thighs, or the thigh that's on the upper part. But it's not bad right now. I'm scared, but not that scared anymore. But still scared. Would you like to say a few words? I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna starve him just like me. He can have nasty soup too. Yeah, I wasn't hungry 20 minutes ago now, yeah. I'm hungry. But I got my chicken broth and I was so upset because I can have jello, popsicles, water, chicken broth, and they don't have jello. And that's the one I was most excited for. Okay, I wanted to update y'all. I think y'all can hear American Dad. I think the epidural failed in my right leg because I can totally feel my right leg. Um, and I can feel all the pain in it, but left side, front, and back, don't feel nothing. It's 4 a.m. on 4 centimeters, and I think they said 90% effaced. I had to sit up because his heart rate dropped. Welcome back. I am six centimeters dilated. He said 100% effaced. I think he said 100% effaced. And I think he's at negative two or negative three. I'm okay, my back hurts from laying in the bed. But that's pretty much all that hurts. And then I can feel pressure of him getting like lower, but that's not even painful yet. It's just pressure. Okay, so I had to get a C-section because his head was too big and it was not moving down my pelvis. But this is my baby. I'm not going to show you him though. You don't get to see his face. <laughs> C-section went really good. I didn't feel a freaking thing. I'm sweaty as hell. He's still asleep in his bassinet. It's up to Jeremy to do everything because I'm bedridden at least till tomorrow. And I got... My Jimmy John sub. I'm so excited to taste something. Yeah, I didn't feel a thing. I just felt when he actually was getting taken out of me. Look how big he is, babe. That was inside me. Oh, Jimmy chowing down. He's hungry as hell. I don't know what else to say. I'm very, very, very tired. I'm very exhausted. I look crazy. Also, I am skinny. I didn't even know that was on me. I am skinny. You'll see how red my cheeks are. I don't know why they're so red. I know my nose is red because I've been itching it, scratching it. Jackson just went to get his circumcision. Feel so bad for him. Guess not bad enough to not do it, but I feel bad for him. But Jeremy stepped out for a minute because he don't like hospitals anyways, but it's a good thing he did because I'm not gonna lie, I completely forgot about the cats and their litter box was nasty and yeah. So we're just waiting on him and we're gonna have a, a lot of family come by and see him today. Jeremy's mom just left. My mom won't be here until like 5 p.m. I think my cousin and my grandma are gonna come probably within the next two hours. I can't remember what I was 
blast telling y'all, but I'll tell y'all this again if I already said it. The C-section was so nice. It, everything went perfect with it, at least as far as I know right now. My lips are really dry. I'm waiting on Jeremy to get back there to grab it because that's one thing right now. I feel like, like I can walk around and maybe I should do it more, but it's really sore. So I just get up, like, I just got rid of my catheter. So I'm like getting up every once in a while to try to pee and stuff. But um, I'm trying not to walk around too much because I don't want to risk like popping a stitch or especially one of the internal stitches, but... My face is so itchy. My arms, everything got super itchy last night. My gr my mom was telling me about that because she kept asking me, are you itchy? Are you itchy yet? Because of the epidural. And I was like, no, I'd never heard of that. But she's right because she said her nose was just so itchy. And like, my nose is so itchy. Even my mother-in-law, when I brought it up to her, she's like, yeah, I noticed you just keep scratching at it. I'm like, yeah. But yeah, it didn't hurt at all. You couldn't feel a thing. You could feel pressure of them like moving things it's really hard to describe because when they tell me, oh, you'll feel a little pressure, little pressure, they be throwing that word around. So I was like, oh my gosh, this is going to hurt. Did not feel them cutting me open at all. At all. I'll tell you that. And all they gave me was the epidural, like the epidural hit. I could feel when he was actually being taken out of me because if you're pregnant and you lay on your back, you know that shit's heavy. And the moment they pulled him out, I felt so light. It felt so nice. I feel so skinny right now. So yeah, if you're getting a C-section or like scared of emergency section, because when I went back there, I was so terrified. I like, I cried when they told me I was gonna have a C-section, not because like, oh, I don't want one. Like even my mom like spoke to me and she's like, you know, don't feel like, you know, you fail, like you're a failure or whatever. Like you failed at this. Cause you know, a lot of women get told, oh, C-section is the easy way out and everything, which I'm not gonna lie in my situation. I kind of feel like it was, but I don't care. I don't give a fuck. You can think I'm a baby, a wimp, that I didn't have to go through real labor. I don't give a fuck what you think. I was in labor for like literally three days. So I literally don't care. Yeah, she was saying that and it wasn't that. It was just when they told me I was so nervous because they're like, okay, well, we can do this. It, we can do this. It was, we have to do this because his head was not coming through my pelvis. It was just too big. And my pelvis was too small. But they're like, we can, we're gonna do this like in 30 minutes. <laughs> like, oh my God. So I just cried out of like stress and like fear. But then I had to keep telling myself, I was like, okay, I was so scared to get into this room because I was scared it was gonna hurt, the labor and delivery room. But then once I felt the epidural and I realized I don't feel anything, like I feel nothing at all. Well, except for like when I told you I felt it in my hip and I did feel it in my inner thigh and the side of my stomach, um, just everywhere on the right, cause it didn't, the needle wasn't in the right spot. But for the most part, it felt way better than the contractions I was having without medication. <laughs> I was having like 50 to 75 contractions without medication. So when I got the medication, when I got up to a hundred contractions, like the level, it, it was literally nothing. I, I just kept reminding myself, okay, I was so scared to get to this point. But now I'm here and I'm not in pain and I'm okay. So it'll be the same there. But before I went to the C-section, I did let them know that all day my right leg was not taking it and that they kept having to give me extra doses and lay me on my right side. And they did a couple of tests to see. I don't know what they were rubbing on me, but they were like, tell me when it pinches. And it was like always on the right side. I'm like, it hurts. This one, it would be like, oh, I don't feel it. And then it'd be like, yeah, as it got up. So... What they did is they readjusted the epidural needle on my back, which I didn't feel at all. This is a lot of talking, so I'll stop here with the update. But yeah, honestly, it was such a perfect total labor, all of it. And then the C-section, it was so perfect. I'm excited for him to come back because I kind of got anxious when he left. Maybe I was holding it together for him. would love to show y'all him but I'm not going to because he's too cute and someone would definitely steal him. I was really happy with my c-section when I was still on the epidural and I couldn't feel anything um and I've already cried about it enough so I'm not gonna I'm talking to YouTube by the way so I'm not gonna get crazy on here but because of the c-section there's a lot oh hold on babe there's a lot that I haven't been able to do like it's really hard to pick him up. It's really hard just to stand up out of bed now that the epidural and stuff has completely worn off. Like when my legs were still a little numb, I could get up and walk around. It was just a little sore. Now that my legs are completely back and like I can feel everything again, 
It may kind of hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Not kind of. It hurts. I can't really lean over in the bed. Like, I can barely sit crisscross applesauce. So I can't, like, change his diapers in bed. I can barely change his little swaddles and stuff. I gotta walk around like a grandma so I can, like, fully stand up pros and cons but i just wanted to also put the cons in there because y'all heard me talk about the c-section right off the bat with hella drugs still in me which felt really nice but just wanted to clarify guys get them off nope i wanted to show y'all five days post-surgery or whatever you want to call it if you want to call it postpartum or, but it's so much smaller it's so much lighter i don't feel like i was just watching a video when i was editing i don't feel like my face looks quite as swollen as it was that still got me a little extra but it doesn't look swollen looks like i'm working on another little baby <laughs> okay this is a two-week update Gone down a little bit. I'm ready for it to be flat, flat. If my lips look crazy, it's because we've been using this lip treatment because our lips are falling apart. We only have the red one left. We don't have the clear one, so. And we've been putting it on real messy because our corners are fucked. I'm gonna do a separate video about like the c-section and everything and like the healing process with that so i'm not going to show any more body updates in this video but there will be more in the next video i also don't know if i'll ever show you jackson he's very cute <laughs> jamie do you have anything to say about the labor i hated the hospital yeah he was very uncomfortable the whole time lost 10 pounds okay yeah he actually lost 10 pounds from stress and not eating while we were there and total time we were there it felt like a lot longer we spent actually we went there on the fourth that's when i actually got induced had him on the fifth then we stayed i think three days so a total of five days in the hospital but there was a total of like three days prior to that that i was going in like every single day to check and see if i was in labor Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out the C-section one. Because, girl, that was crazy. Alright, I'll see you in the next video.